name yes, of the Father, and the Son, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for bringing us all together again on this platform to listen to the word, as well as to give glory to you for all the blessings we have received during this week. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us and for being along our side and for us never being alone. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Yeah, our first sharer today, Sister Yuvon. Please go ahead, Sister. It's yours. Um, this is just a, um, a help, I mean, God's helping hand. Um, sometimes we think we're all alone and we can't manage things. And my, I needed some help with my garden because the grass had grown so big. And it was on last Sunday and I thought in the morning, you know, I can't do it because I got to attend, uh, you know, the testimony uh, Sunday and I think uh, and to, to listen to my Bible study. So I thought I'll do it in the afternoon. Again, of course, it was late. So after lunch, I thought it was going to rain on Monday. And now I really have to get that grass cut because it was so high. Anyway, I went out and I said, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to manage this, but I'm going to give it a go because I know with your strength, and you along my side, I'm going to be able to do this. I went out, put the mower on, and I started doing it. And before I, I came in, and the next minute was I, I went back and I was really struggling with this mower. And then I heard these two voices come across and said, lady, would you like a helping hand? And he had sent me the two helpers, my neighbors, just two men who came and said, look, I'll do it for you. And I said, Lord, thank you so much. Thank you so much, because if I hadn't done this, I don't know what I would have done. And I just praised and thanked the Lord. And by the end of the evening, I don't only have the two men, I had the wife, the children, all helping me to, clear, to, to tidy up my garden. And I said, Jesus, see, all we need to do is to put our trust in you and know you're always there to give us a helping hand when we think nobody else is around. And I have to praise and thank God. Whenever I need something, I just lean on him. And he's always come to my assistance. So I praise and thank the Lord for being there and for being my strength. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yeah, sister. So uh, the word of God says in Nehemiah 8.10, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And when the moment you decided not to uh, uh, depend on, uh, and the word of God said in Sam, Trust in the Lord from all your hearts. Do not lean on your own understanding. Praise God. And Praise these two words you speak and the, you saw the manifest and Yes, brother. So sometimes we make choices yeah. and, you know, yeah. choice that you make that gives you that, um, you know, the assistance that you need at the time. So making the right choices at that time, I think, you know, our Lord is always there when you make the right choice. Yes, praise God. And uh, see, uh, just uh, before uh, this session in Hindi class, uh, uh, I was I was taking the session, and uh, in one of the case, Sister Puja was there. And praise God, uh, we just uh, uh, we just learned that in Nehemiah eight ten, the Word of God said, "The joy of the Lord is your strength." Yeah. Yeah joy of the lord is your strength and mm -hmm. in the in the midst of test when we say this scripture the joy of the lord is my strength so we get strength to face the test praise god and most mm -hmm. of the time most of the time enemy is putting lies and he is showing the circumstances and he's showing the uh, situations negative situation whatever it is and uh, uh, just uh, we we uh, distracted from the word of God and we focus on the situation and the problem. And praise God! Here you put the you uh, you trust on the Lord and Lord send the laborer for your help. Praise God! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. All glory to you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Yuan. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, our next sharer is Brother Maxwell. Yes, Brother. Praise God. Praise yours. God. 
Yes. Can you hear me, brother? Yeah, very clear, brother. Go ahead. Praise God. So, brother, we I have one investment property, and um, so the agent of uh, my agent uh, runs that for me. So all the inspection, everything. So the agent does it. So we had the tenant leave, and then they were getting ready for the new tenants to come in, and uh, so we had to do open inspection. So my neighbor, he's an elderly um, gentleman, and he's alone. And you know, I think he's under the influence of substance and alcohol and stuff. And uh, you know, while a lonely person, if for a man, we don't know what's going on in that person's life. You know, so I think uh, when the inspection started, so so must be a number of cars must be rocked up, and you know. So maybe we don't know because I was not there. So maybe someone must be one must be put the car up on his driveway. So we don't know what exactly happened, that, but he lost it and he started, uh, you know, disrupting the inspection. And it so happened the ladies uh, went up to him and tried to calm him down. And you say, you know what? like just let it go and you know try to calm him down and say let the inspection continue but he would not listen and he's all sorts of you know he started swearing at the people and just telling them you know this place is this this area is not good and all all false accusation and all sorts of thing so anyway the cars left and uh so the agent called us up to give us an update on the inspection, what happened, how many applicants came, and she gave the rundown of what happened. So now I was tossing between, you know, uh, approaching the police to intervene in this. But then a second thought came in my mind because he's an elderly gentleman. I never wanted to be you know, to go that that path down. And I said, you know what, if the police gets involved, I don't want him to be in trouble. So I just uh, done my sums and I was quiet and I was just saying, Lord, you speak to me. what shall I do? You know, what what is the situation? You know it what. So that night, it was absolutely late almost 2 a.m. in the morning I was just I was just not getting sleep so I was all this thing was playing in my mind and then all of a sudden I just felt a scripture Deuteronomy chapter uh, chapter 3 verses 22 which says do not be afraid of them the Lord your God himself will fight for you. And uh, while I was a semi-sleep, and uh, what I did, I took my mobile up quick. And I said, uh, yes, that's the one, brother. Praise God. Thank Praise you, brother. God. So, So what I did in the morning when I got up, I said, uh, then that refreshed my memory. I said, I, I went back to my mobile and where I put my notes. I said, this was not a dream. I thought it was a dream when I got up. And I said, wow. wow. So then what I did, so you shall not fear them. So where there is them, I put that person's name there. You should not fear uh, A, for the Lord your God, he will fight for you. And I said, thank you, Jesus, that I claim this promise, what you have shown me. And I believe and I trust that today's inspection is going to be amazing. And today's inspection, it's not the agent's. You are in charge of that home. Praise God. And my wife, 
I sent her a message. I said, everything is under control. And I sent her this text with the scripture. And I said, don't worry about everything. Everything is taken care of. And the evening, the agent called me. And the agent said, congratulations. The house has been signed off. And this person is nowhere to be seen anywhere in the full, in the full suburb. So she was there for a long time, but there was no one, no one to be seen there. The inspection went off well. There were a lot of applicants who put the forms in for the expression of interest. And some of them have already put in that they could sign the papers of that night. And I was so ecstatic with God that, you know, when we trust him, when we trust him and we believe these words, what God has said, my words are life, they are life and they are flesh. And when you could see that, you can see that, that how God has intervened his scriptures when we believe it it will really really come to life and this is just one of the instant i think we all experience god's glory in our life in numerous situations but this is just a small example that how two o'clock in the morning when I was semi sleep because that time, that part of the morning, everyone is just fast asleep. The deepest sleep you have from two to three or four. And that is the time God has spoken to me and said, you know what? Go, my child, you go to sleep. I am in control of it. Praise God. And I just thank God for this time. I know it's a small testimony, but when we have to glorify God, we should never keep our mouth closed because when we acknowledge him, he will start trusting. When he, you gain his trust with small things, he, you, increase, you increase your boundary, you increase your grace, you increase your blessings. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Thank brother. you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, brother. So when, uh, brother, yeah, here I want to share that. Uh, so uh, I want to add something here that when we give the final authority to the Lord and his word, then uh, Lord himself come in our battle and he took the, uh, he, he, he uh, fight our battle. And he said, you have not to fight with them. And uh, that's why he said, first, you shall not fear them. Praise God. For the Lord, your, he shall fight for you. And it's the of Lord. It's not our fight. And many of the time, uh, enemy is putting this thought in us that you have to fight. You have to do. You have to say something. You have to uh, do something that uh, he is uh, doing. So arm um, is harm. Uh, and the pressure is come when the pressure is come and our focus get on the situation, not on the word, we easily fall and we distracted. Praise God. But Amen. here you trust on the Lord and Lord Himself intervene in the, and uh, He fight for you. And uh, you saw the manifestation without approaching any police or any authority, you saw the manifestation. Praise God. So this Praise is God. And from the, uh, it, it, there are many, many examples in the Bible. In the uh, second Kings, uh, we uh, see that uh, there are also many uh, scripture in second Kings, I think 20, 25, that uh, word said that this battle is not of yours. So the uh, word of God said simply, he, the, uh, we have to praise the Lord. Just praise the Lord for God is good. His mercy endureth forever. So this is scripture is there. Yeah. And praise God. Uh, when we do the same, uh, what uh, what the scripture said, 
when we in our negative situation we start praising and thanking god so god himself take the charge and he fight in on our behalf praise god this praise is the truth yes praise god thank you jesus so Very i is true brother yeah so we, i hear many testimonies on this uh, and uh, this is the truth and it will not change for all it will work the same there is no partiality in first reading of today's gospel uh, in church i heard that the lord have no partiality so the word is same yesterday today and forever and as he works for you brother it the same word in other situation whoever is uh, hearing this testimony it will work on his life also the same it was the same yesterday today and the day it's yet to come so amen praise god thank you praise jesus praise god thank you praise jesus god. thank you jesus so all glory to god amen, amen. praise god any more sharer thank you jesus praise to jesus hallelujah all glory to you lord thank you jesus thank you so any more sharer praise god thank you jesus okay i'll share my testimony praise god thank you jesus god. yes so in couple of weeks i was uh, i was facing one test that uh, in last testimony i shared that Uh, uh the enemy attack first my children and they fall sick and when i shared the word of god with my children and i show them how it works they immediately get relief and immediately the manifestation i saw and none of my children fall sick more than 3 day uh, more than 2 days on third day he like like lord uh, uh, died on the cross on good friday and saturday he rested uh in tomb and third day he rose again the same the, the my children was uh, not uh, even get sick on the third day he, they were all are well and praise god after that enemy used my family member my elders my mother was got got sick my wife got sick i also i myself also the same this cough and uh, this sneezing and this cold and it is so uh, that uh, i uh, my wife got a high fever my mother also uh, her temperature was high uh, i and uh, we was we were struggling and enemy was putting pressure on us by putting this uh, uh, fever and cold and cough that uh, now the the things was that my mother was getting uh, irritated and as i shared previously that uh, enemy is always using my family members to Uh, in the test and uh, uh, this time i also got fall uh, sick and uh, but i i fight the battle with faith praise god and uh, uh, i saw that my mother uh, uh, she although she was uh, uh, watching uh, teaching hindi teaching of brother johnson from the live from moria retreat and my wife was also she also sitting with me and uh, making notes so uh, before the, the this sickness come in her body uh, both of them all of them all of us they we continuously uh, watch the three days continuous session and the and the word which was sown in our heart the same word the enemy was came and uh, trying to steal kill and uh, he come to the, steal the word and praise god through this sickness he put the pressure on our mind and uh, uh, i saw my wife was taking medicine my mother was taking medicine and i decided i have decided that i will not take medicine praise god i will trust on the lord the word of god said by his stripes and wounds i am completely healed and matthew 8:17 said that he took all our infirmity in his body he he bore our sickness in his body and Uh, uh matthew 817 i will put on the screen thank you holy spirit thank you jesus so uh, my mother took the medicine she was uh, on fourth day she was well my wife was well but 
<laughs> but the pressure on me now praise god i i i decided not to take medicine i will take the word of god because word of god is the best medicine for any uh, this thing praise god the word of god said that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by isaiah the prophet oh, my took a little wrong take it huh? praise Good. god thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you holy spirit the uh, the scripture said that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by isaiah the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and bear our sickness oh, praise god so i stick on this situation lord you said that you bore my sickness on your body and by your wounds i am completely healed and i just started confession uh, and uh, what i saw as i am confessing this scripture and i prayed uh, uh, i i was just praising i was just played the praise and worship him and i was praising and rejoice and uh, as uh, philippians 4:4 4 said rejoice in the lord always again i say rejoice and i was singing this hymn and uh, that night the i was uh, so weak i my body was getting weak i uh, uh, the fever was too high and what i did i just uh, 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 the enemy was putting pressure on me and even my he used my wife to uh, say that uh, you took take medicine instead of laying on so i take rest uh, what i did i just put my headphone i joined the class zoom class and uh, on the live, youtube and uh, i just lay on the bed and praise god uh, first night was very tough and uh, the body was uh, full of pain and uh, this uh, uh, fever was high and uh, uh, the, i stick on this scripture that lord say, saying that himself uh, saying himself took our infirmities and bear our sickness and i i was just meditating on this scripture that lord if you have uh, you have already took my this infirmity and this is the temporary what i am suffering is temporary and it is illegal and i rebuke that sickness uh, that uh, fever and praise god first night fever gone in the morning uh, not on the morning even uh, 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 yeah in the midnight uh, the fever was uh, down and i ate uh, i had a dinner and i slept and next day i stood and uh, started working praise god the action my action was uh, the, uh, that word of god said by the wounds and stripes you are completely healed and i believe uh, although my body was paining i uh, stand uh, woke up and i stand up on the bed and i started walking and open my laptop and i started uh, doing that uh, yeah, replying on email my office work and uh, uh, praise god i uh, then i ate, i have my breakfast and uh, i had some food and praise god word of god said uh, uh, in deuteronomy that uh, praise god uh, i will bless your food and water and keep away the sickness from your you praise god uh, I, i forget the scripture reference uh, let me put uh, let me find uh, so i ate the food and uh, after eating that all the weakness all the fever gone and only the cough was there cold was there so praise god uh, i was coughing and uh, sneezing so enemy was putting that see that uh, sickness is gone but you are still uh, this uh, this virus or whatever it is so i did not took any medicine but i take the uh, that turmeric powder and in the hot water and i just ate lord i use the genesis that uh, lord after creation during the creation lord make the plant and all the this thing so i i said lord you make this turmeric plant and you provided and you after making this you said it is good and this turmeric powder and this water is good for my health and i am uh, i use the uh, john 656 lord you said uh, whoever eat my body and drink my blood dwell in me and i in you praise god and i drink that uh, uh, turmeric powder and uh, that water and mixture what i made and from the warm water praise god and the uh, uh, <clears throat> the cold was relieved and uh, i used some uh, garner, uh, garlic also 
garlic uh, this thing so all what i said i use the genesis one and uh, in that uh, in during the creation lord pre created all these plants all these natural herbs and i used it as a medicine and i said lord your word is the medicine and you created this and you said it is good and this uh, and which is good i am taking this good thing and it will go in my body and you said uh, you serve the lord and i i will bless your food and water and keep sickness away from you praise god i will give you the scripture reference here thank you holy spirit and what happened that on the third day everything will gone and uh, i was stand up on this thing uh, my uh, cold gone and cough was little bit was there but my wife uh, i saw that on third day uh, when uh, i uh, start continue praising and thanking lord then uh, what happened that my wife's uh, sickness gone and she was uh, cured and uh, she uh, she made the nice uh, uh, this uh, herbs herbs tea and uh, she gave me and my cough was also stopped so i did not take the uh, i used the herbs and the uh, food item as a medicine as the word of god said i will bless your food and water and keep uh, sickness away from you praise god thank you jesus thank you holy spirit praise god and i saw this word is working and it's it uh, as i said uh, in my past testimonies that uh, since uh, lockdown 2019 to till today i did not visited any doctor any um, uh, 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 any hospital for myself uh, for uh, for yes uh, uh, sometimes i visit visited for my ma mother uh, for taking medicine for her since she is old age and she uh, 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 having that uh, asthma issue and sometimes when she uh, need i she required the medicine praise god and uh, when i rely and on the scripture i uh, take the, i gave the final authority to the word and uh, i saw the manifestation thank you holy spirit thank you jesus praise god and this was the uh, battle in exodus 2325 exodus uh, this was the scripture i used exodus 2325 thank you holy spirit thank you jesus the word of god said and you shall serve the lord your god and he shall bless thy bread and thy water and i will make, i will take sickness away from the midst of thee thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you holy spirit praise thank god you. and i saw that uh, in all this uh, trial what happened is my all three children were perfectly all right there is no infection nothing was happened uh, and uh, my all uh, even i fall sick my, my wife fall sick my mother fall sick they all are sneezing coughing and these children are sleeping nice with us in the same bed and nothing was happened to them praise god and this is scripture when i decided to uh, hold this scripture and act accordingly i saw the manifestation thank you holy spirit all glory to uh, jesus amen amen praise god so this was my uh, small testimony and uh, it's not new for me although uh, i am expressing uh, from since 2000 when i know the truth i was using i am using this scripture and praise god uh, i saw the manifestation thank you holy spirit thank you jesus so yes. as the word of god said uh, jesus christ is lord yesterday today and forever and the same jesus christ in john 1 1 the in the beginning there was word and word was god and uh, and uh, 114 word become flesh which is jesus praise god and the lord jesus is yesterday today and forever the same it he never changed his word is same yesterday today and forever thank you jesus amen amen and and and, uh, and uh, acts 10 we read that uh, when the peter visited uh, and he saw the uh, many uh, uh, gentile to speaking in tongues and he said uh, in the scripture uh, in acts in first reading of today's uh, uh, liturgy uh, that god have no partiality to anybody praise god when you when we give the final authority to the lord 
and uh, use his word as a, a, a final final uh, authority praise god and its manifestation come uh, it this word of god word of god work for all the same same there is no partiality this is what i saw i experienced and even uh, praise god i passed my test and uh, praise god thank you jesus all glory to jesus amen amen praise god thank you jesus praise so this god. first one is small sharing and uh, Yes, if anybody wants to share more or add something here, please do. Beautiful. That was beautiful, Thank brother. Thank you, Jesus. As in Proverbs 3, 5, it says, brother, trust in the Lord with yes. all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Yes. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. And that's what you did, brother. That's okay. what you exactly did. And you trusted in the Lord with all your heart. So the, the reason why does a man of God and his family gets attacked is as you say in Matthew 21, 13. What did Jesus say? That my house shall be called a house of prayer. So my house shall be called the house, Matthew 21, 13. Please. One, three, no? Yes, Are one, three. three. Thank you, okay. brother. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So when Jesus, when you went to the temple, and this is what he got angry, that he said, my, and said unto them, it shall be written, my house shall be called the house of prayer. And there are other translations says that my house shall be called the house of prayer. But if we do not if we do not make our house the house of prayer, it will become the house of den. So there will all sorts of things would be dwelling in the, in the house. And that is what the, I, the enemy, when he's saying that this house is the house of prayer, so he wanted to make that the den of robbers. And he failed. But if we are steadfast in his, in his love, and if we constantly put God and we acknowledge him what you have done, you fought the battle with the scriptures, brother, and he never had a face to stand. So he was trying to put all sorts of uh, things in you, pressure on you, and tell you all the wrong things to do. But you were, you were steadfast and you stood firm. And when he realized that this is a house of prayers and I cannot do it, and he had to flee from their brother, he never had a choice. You never Praise gave God. him a choice. You never gave yes. him a choice. Yes, brother. Even the pressure at the one mm. moment, it was like that my mother was speaking that, yeah, uh, uh, she is uh, speaking in Hindi. Itna pratna karke, itna vachan sunke kya fayda? What the benefit will get after watching all these uh, things? The enemy is using her like this and uh, putting pressure on me that uh, uh, we are preaching, we are listening the teaching. We are confessing every day, white book prayer, confession. And it's still this, uh, uh, this suffering is coming in whole family, not the one, uh, all entire, uh, my mother, myself, my wife, my children, yes. all yes. one by one, praise God. And yes. the enemy is using my mother and saying all this word and I reject it. I use the Galatians 3.13 and I said, Lord, you, uh, uh, you, uh, Christ redeemed me from the curse of the law the and law. I cancel yes. I cancel all the negative words spoken come out from my mother's mouth I cancel in Jesus name and I cancel all those words and praise God on fourth or fifth day when she was well uh, I saw her again watching the same teachings 
uh, the new teachings and she start, started confessing the same what she was doing that time uh, earlier. Praise God. And uh, the enemy tried to use my family members to uh, put the pressure on me. And praise God, when I stand firm, I saw that the enemy, enemy is the liar. And he's a big liar. Praise God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Uh, he cannot stand on the uh, on the word of God and the house of the God. Yes, because brother, that um, Imam has to uh, you have to explain to us that's a test. That's yes. not an attack on the family. It was that's test. not a It was just a test because test, yes. I think most and of I saw, us. Yeah, yeah. I explained, yes. but but it, the truth is that uh, yes. no family member will hear. If I speak the word of God, then, then yes. the, even the Jesus, I am not the bigger than Jesus. Even Jesus faced yeah. this and uh, uh, he cannot preach. I just said, uh, shared with my family member that this is the simple test. As we are listening the word of God and word of God is planting in our heart and the test will surely come and we have to stand firm. That's it. Yes. Praise God. Praise and God. I, 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 I dance in front of them and I said, I passed my test I, without medicine. The sickness gone, everything. I am all right. Praise God. And the their, and their faith grown. And next day, I saw them watching again the uh, teaching and uh, uh, confessing the white book scripture confession. And I was literally dancing in the bathroom. That I, I, <laughs> I, I won the test. I passed this Amen. test. Praise God. Amen. And, and enemy, you are under my feet. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That was amazing. Praise God. Thank you, Praise Jesus. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So before I was not uh, knowing the word of God truth, that I was thinking that uh, I, the same way as my mother said that uh, we are going to church, we are watching uh, uh, retreat uh, or videos, YouTube videos, and uh, we are uh, reading Bible. But why the test is coming? <laughs> the understanding before knowing the truth, it, it was like that, that uh, in the preacher's life, there is no, no all the goody-goody things are there and uh, they don't have any sickness, they don't have anything. Uh, when we share the word of God, the sickness and all the en enemy attack will not come or, or there is no test. But the truth is, when we when we grow more in the word, the test will come. Surely it will come, and we have to pass that test to get in order to get the promotion. Praise God. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And God is having the plan and purpose for each one of us. In today's Hindi class, uh, we learned that in Jeremiah 29, 11, God knows the plan and purpose for. It is for our well-being. It is for our good, not to harm us. Praise God. And if we pass this test, that enemy who is putting all this test, he has to repay us seven times. Praise God. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. All glory to Jesus. All glory to Jesus. Brother, when we appear in the test and when we pass the test, only we get the certificate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. We cannot we cannot get the certificate until we don't appear in the test. Yes, uh, sure. Like so, in our school times, yeah. Whenever yes. we whenever we got the uh, we we, uh, we attend the final exam without passing the exam, we don't get the result or the next uh, promotion in the next standard. Praise yes. God. Yeah. So tests will surely come and it is for our well. Absolutely, Praise brother. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So if there is test, surely testimony will be. If we pass the test, testimony will come. And Amen. this is for glorify the, his name. Praise God. So our Praise testimony God. is to give glory to Lord who is doing wonderful job in each one of us. Praise Amen. God. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Please. Yes. In some sort, some form, He's working in each one of us life. And uh, praise God. We are here to give Him glory. Praise God. 
if anybody want to share please uh, share if any more share are there please, please uh, thank you jesus praise, praise god me. yes sister marcela thank you jesus i can only unmute after 5 thank you jesus praise you jesus <laughs> praise god thank you praise jesus god. Thank, yes. you, Jesus. thank you jesus yeah i want to uh, uh, yesterday uh, yes yesterday saturday my daughter called me up and she was asking me for uh, like my opinion she uh, there are having some elections in the panchayat village panchayat the sarpanch approached her and said to be a panch member so she asked uh, her husband he is sailing he is uh, not there at home he is out of station and uh, he said you see how you feel that was his answer then she went to his cousin and she said uh, no no that's not uh, not meant for you then she asked my younger daughter and uh, she said yeah 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 you, you know she was all excited that somebody from our house becomes a member she was then she asked mama what you have to say so i said listen you you know your situation at the moment you are looking after your father in law and mother in law who advanced in age quite old but by god's grace you are taking good care of them then you got two little daughters who are studying now one, the eldest one is in the ninth and you are alone you have to run around so much you are as it is so full looking after your in laws so well doing the housework uh, reaching the children school and taking up their lessons and doing shopping and everything and you know what this is i said no don't be enticed by this call you just tell her just say no see the, i gave her the reason why i said see it's not a small job it's a big job you'll be attacked by so many people and then you will lose your peace you lose your energy you lose everything you lose now you're just in grace you're just comfortable you're contented in life there's nothing that you have to worry you only have to do your normal duty and things are going well for you but do not take this up because it is not coming from the lord what comes from the lord is proclaiming his good news here you will be fighting you will go into negative you others will envy you and you will have to fight fight it's going to be all negative is going to be different think about it it's not at all right for you you're not it's not for our family not in our family not not right at all i and i told her, you remember when i had told my like a younger one to take the profession of advocate what was her answer she said one very good right thing she said i don't want to tell lies that's it and finish so now you also have to realize this is not meant for our family not meant for us just do as you are called and see you can uh, on the contrary give them some good word now that you are coming little by little you are listening to the word of god you are taking the word of god and you are also now family rosary is going you may not even have time to pray with your family you will neglect your family the such a beautiful family you got and then there'll be more destruction because maybe in your sister in laws and all they'll be envious and they'll criticize things will go back forget just forget so she said mama so nicely you told me yeah i'm just going to be bold and tell her no just no and said no i've got um, children and my in laws to take care i cannot manage and then i gave her the scripture galatian 5:26 let not be uh, not let not be not let let us not become conceited so you'll be proud you know i said competing against one another ending one another just get forget it when she, i told her gave her with the scripture you no know, and before that i was praying in tongues when i when she was asked, talking to me praying it and uh, that's it the, everything is sorted out and i'm so happy because for me i also didn't want that and then when i gave her the explanation i said holy spirit i thank you because you opened up her mind and her eyes and made me also speak the right thing which you know she was say mama why you stop me why so i said holy spirit i just thank you for enlightening me to give her this uh, explanation whatever you guided me and you guided her and with the scripture that was very important i kept telling them now baba you are growing in the word continue in the word forget all that it's not for us it is all worldly and carnal minded thank you jesus and i praise you jesus i give glory to my god he always guides me and my children thank you our father thank you holy spirit praise god 
Yes. So you you trust in the Lord and Lord give you wisdom to te teach your uh, daughter for the truth and uh, depend on the His word and His will. Praise God. The will yes. of God is word of God. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So any more share for today? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. This Sister Pooja wanted to give a testimony. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, brother, uh, I already shared, okay? I got another chance to share my testimony. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, last time, uh, I was running from a very critical situation because that time I got uh, debts of my loan uh, house uh, and my heart was mortgaged and bank put all the notices over there that they're going to sell the house according to the rules and regulations but that times uh, the same sometimes we uh, uh, go um, brother work please will you share that if you want the chronicles 2017 yeah I just a minute yes. yes two chronicles 2017 no? yeah. yeah so this was the same scripture what brother maxwell gave in his testimony the same 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 thing okay at first i got very frightened i don't have nothing first whenever when i connect with brother in jclm and then sandeep brother cried guide me with all the word of god and just i started keep on confessing so first first i got my actually i got due of my house rent for one year so in supernatural way god provide me that time i confess philippians 4 19 and really in supernatural way and the amount was near about one lakh and really i never thought but in supernatural way according to god's promise philippians 4 19 god provide me and i clear all that rented which was due that time and and i after that i started confessing white books and whatever word of god sandeep brother that time supported me with especially with this word of god i confess but uh, while i got this message that um, the people from the bank went to our house and put these and that i got frightened so sandeep brother told me that don't worry you have the main thing hold the word of keep the word of god and just go ahead and with no money i just started my journey to kolkata after after over three and a half years and that time also i was actually frightened that people over there were shouting over my parents and and they were saying that let them come or uh, we will take away all the things which you have in your house. We will sell it and uh, once we will get them, we will kill them like this and that because uh, I got lots of debt that time. I had to take money from outside also. But I still, I just hold on in the word of God and I went there. That time, uh, Sandeep brother, I was gonna, I was doing that confession that, uh, brother, what is in English that Prabhu ki stuti karu, kuki ko bhala hai. Praise the Lord for God is good, His mercy endureth forever. This two Chronicles 2021, 20, I think, eh? 2021. Yes. Just a minute, let me put uh, on this. And I continue doing this, and then, uh, then on the I was going to meet them, but that time I got a message from Sandeep brother that he say, uh, share me that this scripture to Chronicles two seventeen that this is not your battle. 
just stay calm in english uh, brother please share that yeah it is on the screen it is on the screen you can read you shall not need to fight in this battle it's not showing in the screen brother okay sorry sorry i did not share okay this god okay now it's visible na huh? yes praise god you shall not need to fight in this battle say to yourself stand there still and see the salvation of the lord with you o juda and jerusalem fear not nor be dismayed tomorrow go out against them for the lord will be with you praise god and when i got this na i stopped that day i just continue with the uh, i continue confessing the word of god's hundred more than hundred times on in the rosary and next day i went there and before before meet with them i was consin, um, confessing that was a look for 18 the spirit of the lord and putting those names of the people but really how the word of god works when i met them at first they started shouted over me and then i really i what i have no words to explain how they change their way of talking and everything then i continue i continue to say them that uh, who will give uh, the money back when, when they were asking I, in the same question the ba- people the bank people also ask me but i say jesus will provide me because he promised me so then they say me who is this jesus so, and then i got a chance to share them the word of god and one of them really touched with the one of uh, word of god and he told me that please uh, send me a picture of your jesus me some word of god is this really true and then in the bank also i'm doing all these things but without paying a single single paisa to uh, uh, i have uh, actually uh, i have not paid them with a single money but still i met them but at first i got very frightened and without paying the money i can't go to my native place which is kolkata i can't go there but really just taking the only the word of god i go ahead and really it was not my battle battle and still it's not my battle it's god battle and he is doing everything i surrender everything and even at the bank i asked for settlement in the bank and at first they was not uh, they don't agree to do so and um, let her uh, they are saying that uh, see if you do this you will not able to get any type of loan in future i then that time also i say that uh, uh, no i no need to take any loan because jesus say i don't need to take any loan from any people i will not take i will give and uh, i have lots of houses like this i was speaking really that time i don't know what happened whatever answer i was giving with i was giving with the word of god and they that time they agreed and again after uh, last month they told me that pay am- amount so i pay that amount and in, in again super in supernatural way god provide me amount to pay to the ba- to pay the bank but that time they told me okay just stop for some time don't give now we will make the papers and we will talk to the authority and then we will let you know and then when they let me know and the amount they uh, certain amount they fix for settlement and they agreed and they told me to pay the amount and i uh, pay some of the amount on the last month suddenly they again started doing this and that that you have to pay this amount by june because the dm letter is ready and whatever they was talking negative then i i went to again there to meet them and i was there but still i can't able to pay the money i have to sign the papers to uh, for saying that i'm agree with the bank and they can do whatever they want 
so still still now nothing come from their side because i surrender everything to god but i got a chance to share the word of god with one of the officers there and that people uh, that person was also touched with the word of god because uh, they know our family background then they he asked me that you were hindu and now how why you trans uh, you uh, you convert yourself in this and i explained this and la- last day though i can't able to pay anything i just said the word when uh, he was asking see you say your jesus will do everything but you can't able to pay the money still now and everything is now in our hand huh? so that that time i say no i don't think so that i came here to pay the money i think you have some questions and jesus know that and i came here to give the answers so i don't care about that but i know that you will not you can't able to sell my house because that is jesus house and jesus will definitely pay because he, he promised me and like this way i talk with other people also and i continue confessing this because i remember lord told me last time also that the lord is with me and uh, this battle uh, i shall i don't need to here it is you shall not need to fight in this battle so i will not i am not fighting in this battle because the lord is there and for some moment today i really i uh, i was worrying not actually worrying i was thinking what happened where i am wrong because really brothers and sisters i am giving my more than 100% even when a people talk even when i see a picture in everywhere i just i just uh, i just say the word of god and i found the word of god even a beautiful a flower or a bird there i find find that how beautiful our lord is so i am really i am now my situation is like that i am living a spiritual life not a human life i think so and even lots of people when uh, say me ask me anything or say bad words or a, that that time i told my family that don't don't react to them because what god says that uh, we are not fighting with the flesh or uh, flesh and uh, what that what is that for verse brother ke hamare you efficient six efficient six 12 i think efficient just um, let me put on this yeah efficient 612 brother efficient 612 yes our battle is not with the blood, flesh and flesh and blood efficient 612 yes for we wrestle not yeah read it read sister for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places praise god so in this way when people say something like in this time also when i went to kolkata the people over there all the people the bank people try i would say lots of bad words and these and that but i that time a holy spirit talk with me this that uh, you are not against with this flesh and blood so don't worry uh, because evil is trying to get you in temptations and one people came there and he say uh, do one thing i will give you the loan of 4 lakhs so do and uh, take from this and spend there so again that time when i uh, talk with sandeep brother and i didn't say anything to him but he say me that if you uh, if you want to take money from one place to another this is the same curse we are still in curse so i say yes really and uh, holy spirit that time really talk with me and he told me that you will you are not the you will not give, uh, take money you have you are the giver not the borrower so i just hold on the word of god and really 
whatever i'm seeing and what is everything happening i'm not get i will not especially from today in the class also in the hindi class sandeep brother explained me so well and there also there is the verse that uh, uh, ask me uh, brother please share that ki tum mujhse dhoondoge to main tumhe milunga pure hriday se dhoondo ye to yes jeremiah yeah. jeremiah 29 12 to 14 praise god thank you jesus praise god and uh, then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and i will hearken unto you and ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your hearts and i will be found of you said the lord and i will turn away your captivity and i will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither i have driven you said the lord and i will bring you again into the place whence i caused uh when i caused you to carry away captive praise god and really get the word search me search for me with all your hearts and search where we have to search in the word of god in the words where the scriptures there we have to search and really through the scriptures lord talk with me and again he giving me promises that don't worry i will change everything i will turn away your captivity praise god and really just i'll request all the brothers and sisters god's promise just keep on holding on the god's promise the word of god nothing is impossible nothing is impossible and i believe in spiritual every all my depths are clear even i got again i got uh, some uh, some days before i need a even also i need lots of money to for my son study but i know i i cast everything because lord say cast all cares about me because he care for you and that's why i cast everything and he is also uh, taking care of my son study i don't know how the money i'm arranging and giving and how will i will pay in future because just i i do what god god say to me to do i will do that only praise god praise god thank you lord god help me jesus help me lots of time in really supernatural way and it's i heard from someone that and it that what touched me really that we are natural and the super god when we connect with him and really it makes us supernatural praise god and this will happen when we when we stay with the word of god thank you thank you so much praise god thank you jesus praise thank god and my brothers and sisters i i want to share this sister pooja belongs from a hindu brahmin family and uh, she uh, she and her husband and her son they they accepted jesus and they baptized and uh, although her mother and father is still uh, in this uh, uh, living in the other my religion. father also i my husband my son my brother in law and my father okay okay father also accepted christ praise yes. god praise god praise god okay uh, so praise god thank you jesus so she is she is using the word of god and she is uh, hung uh, she i i saw her uh, so much of hunger hungry in the word of god and uh, whatever she attended all the classes and she learned and what the uh, what i saw that she is preaching uh, she is translating in in her own native language in bengali and she is sharing with others brothers and sisters sister what are you doing uh, in mumbai yes, and yeah 
uh, translation I, of the Hindi teaching or the English teaching what she learned from JCLM and I'm from our translating class. into Bengali and I'm trying to do giving this wow. and even uh, when some people don't have even mobile also so I I make I wrote it down in a paper and share with them like this at least they're able to read and I ask them when you want to pray this call me and confess with me like this and I share lots of uh, I share word of God with the peoples who are hungered even this time another testimony uh, in a Brahmin Hindu family they worship Krishna and they are so much that they got first of all they got angry with me that family because they're one of my relative over there and uh, that why you change like this and that but I just I that time I was so happy that that means I think that uh, she is asking me like this that means I got a chance to share the word of God with her and when I explain everything with the videos YouTube videos because she is not so much literal but uh, they worship Krishna and they believe in that but when I started explaining everything and on the spot that uh, he got a uh, pain something pain on his uh, toe and knee like this so, uh, yeah yeah she got pain in her heel so I uh, explain everything and after that I say you you are worshipping your Krishna ask him to heal you so why didn't he heal you and then when I say this and I ask her just you if you believe what I say you confess from your mouth and uh, you forgive everyone and you uh, repent yourself to God and you touch your heel yourself and say that I'm healed by the wounds and stripe of Jesus see yourself in the cross and then say me tomorrow what happened and really she say yes it works praise God now she, she is also hunger for the word of God but as because by professional his husband is doing all this so she also say ask me that no you share me everything with me I don't say to anything to my husband now but I believe in Jesus now from today I'll believe Jesus praise God this thing really this this time i spread more word of god than the last time so i think now i am not worrying that i can't able to pay this money and what will happen because i've already designed the papers and this but i thought this is some i went there for doing the work for the kingdom of god that's much praise god so maybe, sister maybe they need to need that time for the word of god that's why i go there yeah so kingdom of god is works in the uh, sower and reaping yeah so you are sowing the word of god in others other uh, other religions brothers and sisters and yes. telling them the truth and the surely your harvest will come sister praise god because uh, word of god said give and it shall be given to you you are you are sowing you are sowing the truth in the others life and lord is uh, 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 lord is taking care of all this because word of god said in matthew's gospel that seek first his kingdom and his righteousness on all things shall be added unto you and as lord has uh, take care of all your needs in past surely it will uh, uh, all the debts and all has been paid when you believe on the Galatians 3.13, you confess that Christ has redeemed you from the curse. And uh, and, the, and the confirmation of this that you are not taking any loan, you are not taking anything from others, but instead you are giving, you are yes. sowing, praise God. And this is the confirmation that you are redeemed from this curse, all the curses, which, which was because... Uh, uh, because of a lack of understanding and lack of knowledge uh, in your past life, whatever happened, praise God. And this uh, really happened, brother. I stick with that word. I will not take any money from, I will not borrow from others. That's because Lord said this. He promised me. So even 
even also brother uh, uh, in the confession in the white book they say na give and it shall be given to you so first thing started that when i first i got the supernatural way and i pay the money uh, the rent which was due and then i started confessing but one day i say that i'm confessing in the white book but still uh, i don't got any thank you jesus that you uh, paid all my rents but um, what if what about the banks they are calling me and this everything is happening so what will i do but i'm confessing white book that time really it struck me that what i'm saying that i'm saying give and it shall be given to you but that time i thought that i didn't give anything to anyone and as that time i asked uh, you taught that time that uh, james 15 and uh, i say really holy spirit guide me show me who is in need and you know my financial what i have with me so guide me i will not Uh, um, I will not bother about that. That how much uh, I will keep the money for me first, and then I will give or whatever the need, you know. And really, that time I'm saying now, I I have that time only three thousand five hundred with me. And and that time when I say this now, that I will not keep for me any money, but the person you will show me, I will uh, give her or him. and within 2 minutes someone called me and she asked uh, she was saying that the her um, her daughter's wedding will stop if, if she can't able to arrange that money and the amount is same what i have with me that time but i that time as i say the word same word to holy spirit and that amount that see it's not 4000 or it's not less than that what i have but a, a exact amount what i have and i really i uh, i saw that seed by praying and give her the word of god and he is in touch she is in touch with me and he she able to uh, give, uh, give her daughters married and they are now happy so praise god and after i doing this i uh, god provide me the tickets and everything everything god provide me still now i myself i don't know uh, god uh, promise me jesus promise us that uh, she will uh, sorry uh, he he will bless us in all our works and so by taking his name we are doing works and most of the time i'm spending in word of god i don't know really if if anyone ask me how you are giving this how you if people when the people is came to know that my son is in uh, studying in akash institute it's so much expensive in my, uh, science medical line and how you are doing so, so really i don't know but it's getting arranged and i'm doing so praise god when we really depend on our father like a baby and just yeah. take on the word of god praise god Yeah, our father knows every need of us so don't yes. worry praise god we have to just trust in him and rely but it comes but it comes brother that that i told you na no, that man came and he giving without any paper and nothing and as my brothers in law sibil is good they are going to give me 4 lakhs in within 15 minutes from bajaj but no i'll not going to take any more money from anywhere like this Good. jesus will provide me he will give me in supernatural way he promised me and i know that just uh, one thing i want to correct here that uh, jesus has already finished what you need you have to believe and receive it so jesus yes. is jesus will not going to give you first you have to change your confession yes, you have yes. to start thanking and yes, receiving yes. yeah the give thanks only in every hour in every day needs also i think that so he has given you in a spiritual realm and you have to just uh, uh, withdraw that uh, thing through your faith praise god and the word of god says as you said in uh, deuteronomy 28 12 said that the lord shall open unto thee his good treasure the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season in his season 
and to bless all the works work of thine hand and thou shalt lend unto many nations and thou shalt not borrow praise, praise god. god so this deuteronomy 28 12 is what you are uh, uh, sticking on this that you are not a borrower yes you are yes praise god you are lender you lend unto many nations and yes. thou not shall borrow praise god praise god thank you jesus thank you. so praise god so this deuteronomy 28 12 is the blessing and uh, this treasure the lord promised here the lord shall open unto the his good treasure the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season lord. in his season his season praise god praise thank god. you jesus thank you jesus and to bless all the work of thine hand praise god so lord has blessed your hand and uh, uh, you have to just believe and receive it receive it receiving is more important many of the time enemy putting in the uh, this uh, this uh, wrong thing that uh, uh, we believe that god jesus is going to give you but it is not the truth jesus has already finished what is needed and it is now our faith we have to uh, receive it the receiving believing and receiving is the important thing so yes so believe and you shall have it mark 11 24 yes praise god thank you holy spirit thank you jesus okay praise god all glory to jesus thank you sister pooja for uh, this thing so the so what you are right uh, once again still above all everything all glory all thanks and glory to jesus and really that time uh, actually lord used people like human beings to reach out to his son so that time really with by how, what will i do what will i confess what is actually word of god the meaning that time really jesus sent me uh, sandeep brother thanks to you also you guide me lord lord thank lord of thanks thank you holy spirit all glory yeah, to jesus lord talk with through you to me and guide me and say every time when i got frightened and he talked with me the word of god through you thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you thank you, thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you thank you jesus thank you holy spirit all glory and honor to jesus praise yes. god praise god okay so any more share today praise god thank you jesus no more sharing praise god okay never mind uh, brother maxwell can you do the closing prayer yes brother yeah please precious heavenly father i thank you and i praise you lord for this amazing testimonies from all our brothers and sisters my god father this only shows my god that when we come to you with an honest and an open heart my god you do supernatural wonderful amazing things you do in our life my father we started with sister we you won that how the weather was bad and she was struggling to mow a lawn my god and when she believed that you are there no matter what situation it is and you sent my father to angels to help her out my god this is an amazing amazing testimony my god and i thank you lord for your goodness for your glory and for your amazing grace upon our sister as brother sandeep my father his house was attacked from all four sides my god because that house was the house of prayers my god and when the enemy realized it that he cannot do or penetrate this house because it is so fortified 
that he cannot penetrate. And as it was same with Job's house, my God, because his Job, Job's house was fortified with your grace and blessings. And there was a hedge of protection over his home. And when the Satan said, I cannot penetrate this house because you have got a hedge of protection over it. And only when you removed it, my God, he was able to penetrate, my God. I thank you for Sister Marcella's testimony that you gave her wisdom to speak to her children, my God, through giving them wisdom, knowledge, and to discern between the right and wrong, my God. I give you glory and honor, my God. I thank you, Lord, that you have helped me in the situation what I faced, my God. And you sent the angels in the right time, my God. I thank you for Sister Pooja's beautiful testimony today, which has inspired all of us, my God. And not only us, my God, who are, list, who are present at this platform, but the ones who would be listening to it thereafter, my God, would be inspired with the encouragement and the faith she has, my Father. It just shows, my God, that what your word can do, my God. I thank you, Lord, that all good and perfect gift comes from you, my God. We are nothing, my God. We are just an empty vessel, my God. And you are using each one of us, my God, to glorify your name, my God. And my Father, each and every brother and sisters who are present here today, right now, I ask for your amazing double portion of anointing to be upon them as we enter into this new week, my God. You know what's lined up for each one of us, my God. But we cannot do anything in our own strength, my God. We will fail. We will fail if we do anything on our strength. But once we are with you, my God, your supernatural grace and blessings and mercy shows my God that what you can do. Thank you for today's, all the testimonies, for all the teaching and for all who have made it to this day, my Father. We close this prayer, giving you the glory and honor in Jesus' precious, mighty and holy name. Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. All amen. glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, brother. Thank you.